when it comes to mental health, you have to surround yourself with people who are who care about you and support you, and it's so important to talk about it. Welcome to Trevor Talks Too Much. I just yelled into the mic. I'm sorry. That was loud. Uh, this is the show where I put my gift of gab to the test, and no topic is off limits. Not a single one. Not even masturbation. I mean, eventually. I'm knows? your host, Trevor <laughs> Everett's Master Baker, mythical soft boy, uh, holder of a six foot eight personal record in the high jump in high school. Yeah. That's impressive. Pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, technically, it's not a PR because I did it in practice and not in a meet, so it wasn't recorded, but it was my personal best. Anyway, um, that is neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I spoke with the Merrill twins, Vanessa and Veronica. Veronica and Vanessa, I don't know whose name to say first. I don't know if they have preferences about that. Um, but they're YouTubers that have been around for a long time. You've probably heard of them or seen them before. Uh, they're amazing, super sweet, very funny. Um, yeah, we got into all sorts of stuff. We talked about mental health burnout, which I talk about a lot. <laughs> uh, the culture shock of moving to like a really diverse area from a not diverse area, um, but like in a good way. Uh, and also, you know, the difficulties that come with being off the cuff, just like I was trying to do right there. Uh, but like improv and having to always be funny and feeling like you always turn it on. And then sometimes you just feel like you're not funny like me right now. I feel like I'm not funny right now. Um, you're always okay. funny, Trevor. Okay, whatever. Um, before we get into the show, though, actually, I think this the episode about it came out. But recently, you weren't here. I know. Jamie, you weren't here, but we had our first ever Mythical Kitchen pop-up. I saw and I was so sad I wasn't here for Yeah, that. you were out of town. You freaking missed it. I know. Um, you were in a freaking hot dog suit. I was. I was in a hot dog suit. No, it was so much fun. I wanted to talk about it for a second, um, just in case there's any overlap between Mythical Kitchen fans and people that listen to the show. Um, the support was so unreal. It was the first time we'd ever done anything like that. And it was just like so like humbling to see like how many people came out to support us and like come buy our hot dogs and say hi to josh and nicole and take pictures it was unreal it was so much fun uh but i think the episode that we did because we recorded the whole time we were there mm -hmm. i think that episode just came out like last week or something um i don't know i'm bad with release dates i'll put it in the show but it was really fun and i made so many hot dogs and we met so many cool people and so if you came to the event um or supported it anyway thank you so much it was very amazing it was very fun to see and we all had a great time it looked super fun. I was I was very sad that I missed it. You're a hater, Jamie. It's okay. Uh, I know. I will say, uh, though, that uh, someone I went on my trip with, who I didn't know was like a significant other of someone else, like loves Mythical Kitchen and was like, oh my God, I'm like fangirling that you get to like hang out and talk to Trevor all the time. And yeah, I was like- Did you tell her? Did you, were you like, hey- it's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, no, like he's like a genuine person. Like he's Ow. genuinely down the earth, cool guy. We have You said that about me. I did. You lied for me. I didn't that lie. That is so sweet. It was completely <laughs> not lying. It's not like I ha I didn't bring the paper that you gave me to tell people uh about you and they ask. You didn't so. bring the paper? No, I forgot Jamie, it. we talked about it. Honestly, this. TSA almost took it from me. I, you have the talking points, you have the bullet points of what to say when someone asks about me, and you didn't bring it. No. Unbelievable. Well, we'll talk about that later, Jamie. Uh, but for now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to get reprimanded. Yeah. <laughs> All of that was a joke. <laughs> Just to be clear, everyone, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, if anything, I do the reprimanding. No, no don't. I don't. <laughs> As if I have any control. Yeah, you have no control. <laughs> I have no control. This is my, this is my show. <laughs> my microphone. Actually, you could just turn the microphone off if you wanted to. That would be the ultimate slap in the face. It's like, nope, Trevor, nobody gets to listen to you anymore. No. Um, um, should we get into the show? Yeah, no, they were really sweet. And they, like, just, I feel like also very genuine, down-to-earth people that were just. They were awesome. Just down. You should listen more than just pass the intro and listen to the actual rest of the show now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's clap it up. 
up. Let's clap it up. That's such a good intro. Everybody, welcome the Merrill twins, Veronica and Vanessa. Hello. Hello. They're here. Yes. Thanks for um, having us. Yeah, thank you for being on the show. This is so funny. Okay, so how long have you been doing YouTube then? We started when we were, well, okay, we, <laughs> we started our channel in 2009, didn't okay. start posting till 2013, like consistently, okay. yeah. like taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we were like, that's like when we were like 15, yeah. 16, 15. No. so we're almost 26, or we're 26, 10 years. Yeah. 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 Nice. That lines up because I remember, so weird, I remember seeing you on like the old react the fine brothers yeah, yeah. the old like youtubers yeah. react mm -hmm. like i remember like when i used to watch those videos a lot when i was in like i don't know high school whatever and i was <laughs> yeah. like so and cool. then i was like oh now i'm having them on my show that's so oh, funny that's, that's so, so fun, fun. I, do you know how many youtubers i got introduced because of those episodes like i probably a lot a yeah. lot and yeah. then i would see them in person i'm like I know them from that those episodes. Yeah, yeah. So, that's pretty so, cool. No, I do the same thing now because now that I work here for Rhett and Link and I have this show that I get to bring a lot of really cool people on. Mm -hmm. There's so many times where I'm like, hi, yeah, so I've watched your content a lot before <laughs> and now I'm supposed to act like a normal person <laughs> and not be questions. weird. <laughs> like when I, had, awesome. when I had Mython, who's like a streamer, a gamer, I had him on and I was like, how do I not just like be like, hi, Myth. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Hey. Love your stuff. <laughs> um, like, uh, what were you thinking when you said this in yeah. this video? Of yourself? I'm like, so let's take it back six years. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a question. <laughs> so, 10 years now mm -hmm. in the YouTube game. Oh, yeah. How's your mental health? <laughs> oh, that's a, actually um, a great question because, like, back in the day, YouTube was so different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, throughout the years, mental health for YouTubers and creators has been such a very big topic and so important yeah. for creators and yeah. um yeah i think back in the day just because the algorithm was so different just like you could just do whatever you wanted and yeah. people would pretty much watch you know we were having so much fun and yeah. we still have a lot of fun and just now there's like all this stress of like the algorithm, analytics analytics yeah. you know tiktok so like fast paced yeah. stuff and like even yeah. just Four years ago, you watch one of our videos and the editing is so slow. Yeah. Just yeah. things are so different now. And I think we're we're okay, though, because we have each other and we kind of have made it a family business. Yeah. And they say to, like, make sure you don't have creator burnout or whatever. They say to work with the team. Yeah. And so that's what we've done. Yeah. So, so I think one we're okay. Of, yeah. If one of us is, like, kind of feeling down, not yeah. really motivated, the don't other one something. pulls through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ste ham and steps egg. up. Yeah. Yeah. Steps up. Um, but... I think it's very important to talk about it because if one of us isn't motivated, like we got to figure out like, okay, well, how do we, you know, hype each other up? Like, how do we um, just get to a better place and yeah. figure out what to do? Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially with like, I don't even want to say it, with cancel culture. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> that is such like a big worry now mm -hmm. for creators. Yeah. Like, to accidentally say the wrong thing just very innocently. Yeah. You yeah. could just get canceled within seconds. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, I get that. I mean, even for me, like, I never, I don't, cons I don't know. I don't consider myself a <laughs> person. And I've never been like, I've never been like this awful person. Like, mm -hmm. even back in the day before I got into like the content industry. Yeah. But I'm always worried like, what if someone just says something about me <laughs> that like, I don't even remember. Like, yeah, yeah, back when Trevor was a sophomore in high school, he was passing by me in the hallway and he said this. I'm like, I, I I don't remember that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm different now. I, I always say that, you know, when there is someone that does say something crazy or totally inappropriate or whatever, my belief is to educate them and give them a chance to correct themselves and, yeah. you know, learn from it. And yeah. if they don't, that says a lot about them. You yeah. Know? So no, that's for how sure. I see it. Yeah. Um, I mean, if it's like a pattern of things, like there's some people that you can tell, okay, you've been doing this for a long time and you continue to do it. Mm -hmm. There's probably just, you're not a good person. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wasn't just like a, oh, one time yeah. mistake kind of thing. Well, right. And back in the day, like there was so, the humor was so different and people say like, you, you could get away with anything, but it just like, it was just the media back then. Yeah. And just, just people were just not, like, they were, I guess, like, okay with the jokes and stuff people yeah. were saying back in the day. But now that we've actually, like, come to terms and realize how inappropriate a lot of things were, that's why people are like, oh, my gosh, this is so bad. But 
people have to also have a lot of grace and say, at least realize that back then it was just so normal to yeah. be saying horrible things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's you'll watch like old movies sometimes. It's like, wow, they just they really just said that stuff. Yeah. And nobody yeah. cared. No it's one like, oh, cared. this is a PG movie and they're saying that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wowzers. Exactly. It, yeah, for real. <laughs> so many movies like that that I watch. That I'm just like, oh, oh, God, what a different time. It, it really was. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we're at where we're at yeah. now, where people aren't just really crappy. Well, yeah. most people aren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, people definitely have, like, are smarter with how they word things. Yeah. Say yeah. Jokes. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Of course. How's your mental health? In the <laughs> 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 No, um... <laughs> God, it's uh, it's funny. I actually literally had a conversation with my dad about this last night because my dad very cryptically texted me like a week ago. and was like, hey, and I'm very close with my dad. He's like one of my best friends. I trust his opinion on everything. I think he's one of the greatest guys. But he's like, hey, I want to have like a life conversation with you when you're ready. And I was like, OK. Ooh, I, was like, I, I was like, well, now I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm anxious. Um, he's like, it's nothing specific, you know, I just want to like check in on you, see how you're doing. I was like, okay. And, and my dad's been very supportive ever since, you know, I moved to LA and got mm-hmm. into this industry. Um, and <laughs> I talk about social media a lot on the show and how much I hate it and how toxic <laughs> it is and yes. how bad it is for your mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think he listened to an episode and heard that he's like, you doing okay? Aww. I was like, yeah. He's like, he's like, I don't know. He's like, I'm, I mean, like I'm an old guy. So obviously like, I don't know a ton about it. He's like, it just seems really damaging. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> the show yeah. or just no, like social, social media. media. Yeah. yeah. I see. And yeah. that's what I told him. I was like, I'm very thankful that, you know, I work for Rhett and Link who mm-hmm. one, they care a lot about mental health and yes. they're very, you know, poignant about that. And like, they want everybody that's on their staff and on their crew to have that as a priority. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also, Definitely when I first started working here, social media, like I was like, I started to get followers and then I was like, oh, I got to read every single comment. I got to read everything. (laughs) I was like, I have to constantly be posting on Twitter and Instagram Mm -hmm. so that I can, you know, get engagement Mm -hmm. and I need people to like my stuff. And wow, how bad is that? Yeah. (laughs) It's awful. It's so bad. And honestly, I mean, it it sounds really bad, but last or last year I, I got a boyfriend and I ended up like really stepping away from social media for a bit but it was more like naturally it wasn't like a conscious choice and it was more so because like I was not relying on social media for my self-worth yeah and it was like kind of like this huge like awakening that I realized about myself that I was always you know posting pictures hoping people would like it or certain people would comment or whoever it was for that validation and then when I realized that I did not need that from social media. Yeah. Like I just naturally stopped kind of like posting for a bit and like yeah. I kind of was staying off Twitter and just it really changed my mental health and just like yeah. I was just I just felt more I don't know, I guess like happy. Yeah. But yeah. I'm I'm starting to get back. Yeah, as cre- back as to normal. creators we're like I don't know who tells us but it's in our minds that we have to constantly be posting to yeah. stay relevant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, after doing it for 10 years, yeah. <laughs> there's still a very big pressure to like, oh, my gosh, are we are we still are relevant? We still yeah. relevant? We're like, we're, we got invited to be on a podcast. We are. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this isn't like the test of relevancy. No. I hope that oh my, my show isn't the test of relevancy. Otherwise, I feel really bad. No, no. But I love that your dad was concerned. You know, no, yeah. when it comes to mental health, you have to surround yourself with people who are who care about you and support you and it's so important to talk about it yeah well and it's so nice that your dad actually asked you know how many dads or parents just don't really care or yeah. ask their kids hey how's it going social yeah. media sucks are you okay yeah no <laughs> i know? mean i i love my dad i i first started struggling with depression when i was like in high school and i remember having a conversation with my parents like my dad told me straight up he was like look when i was a kid like guys didn't do this like guys didn't struggle with mental health everyone just told you you had to buck up like it's not a real thing I used to not think it was a real thing he's like and then after my mom had me she went through you know like a post postpartum postpartum Mm -hmm. depression and he was like I had to he's like I got checked by that because like Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was a real thing I'd never struggled with it your mom hadn't struggled with it until after she had you 
he's like, and then I realized like how bad it is. And he's like, and I don't want you to not take this seriously because I used to not take it seriously, but it's a really big deal. Yeah. And so he's always been very supportive of that. And um, yeah, I would say my dad's probably my biggest fan. Definitely Aww, my parents are, which that. is great. But I'm doing good. To answer your question, I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, I good. take Ooh, good. I take my Zoloft every day, 50 okay. milligrams. Um, I've been staying off of social media. Yeah, I, I've been good. like making it a point to stay off it. I don't think there's something anything wrong with like intaking media, social media. Because, like, you know, yeah. people watch video. Like, you know, oh, yeah, it's yeah. contradictory for us to be like, social media is bad. Because, you know... We no, I think it is. <laughs> I think it's terrible. Well, I think that is. I think that there's a big difference between watching YouTube videos and scrolling through TikTok yes. endlessly oh, on that TikTok is true. and Twitter. Exactly right. right. Yeah. Well, and you know, we our channel is longer form content, and um, we are like family friendly, which yeah. family friendly means everyone, not just kids. Yeah, like, people get confused with that a lot, <laughs> but um, everyone can watch our channel and. Our channel is more so you can just escape the other parts of social media yes. and watch just like something that will make you feel good. Yeah. And um, like there will be times where I'm on TikTok and I'll just scroll and I'm just trying to keep up with what people are doing, what they're talking yeah. about. And like it's good. It's like funny cats, funny skits. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like some dark twisted thing i like just so many yeah. random things that pop up that are just so dark and make me feel really like like oh my gosh yeah and then i just like get off and then the rest of it like it affects me the rest of the day and yeah. i'm like dang it i wish i just did not see that yeah so. tiktok is i can't speak as much to tiktok because i actually <laughs> don't really use tiktok uh, i'm i use tiktok <laughs> I do too. Well, yesterday i did something that made me feel awful What'd you do? TikTok now has this thing where you can look at your search history or like your watch history. Yeah. <gasps> I was trying to find a TikTok. <laughs> it's news to that, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can look at your watch history. Wait, that's great because there's so many things no, I always find. It's bad Why? because I was trying to look for a TikTok that I had watched and I realized how many TikToks <laughs> I scrolled down and I was like, this is bad. Like this was like, hundreds of tiktoks before i found the yeah. tiktok that You're i like, was I looking for like i watched this 30 minutes ago yeah and I have exactly to scroll through hundreds. and it says, it says your watch history today and i was like this is all today and i was like this is bad i did not know that yeah look at your <laughs> watch know. history mm, yeah i don't, I don't think i don't think tiktok is as bad um i think well tiktok is like everybody's algorithm is different yeah. your for yes, you page exactly. and stuff so i think you can kind of you can game it a little bit to like yeah. give you the stuff that you want to see i think twitter's terrible i twitter, think if yeah, you agree. spend a long time on twitter like a significant amount of time on twitter mm -hmm. every day then you have a problem that you need to address <laughs> i literally follow like one topic on twitter which is star wars like okay. i love star wars yeah. and even then i'll see a random tweet and i'll just be like it's about Star Wars, but it's like someone being so mean and critical about something. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> it's so funny how people can find things to be negative about, mm -hmm. about yeah. what seems the most harmless thing. And someone can find a way to spin it in just the worst way possible. It's like, come on, <laughs> come on. You, you know can't what? even enjoy Adventure Time no. <laughs> without just getting so mad about exactly. something. Exactly. People just really, I, you know what I think truly happened is that during the pandemic, which we're still like partially in this pandemic. Yeah. But so, but when everyone was at home, stuck in their rooms, and they had nothing to do but be on social media, I think people all of a sudden gained like this confidence of like being okay with being negative. Yeah. And not only were they okay with being negative online, they're, they're now like okay with being negative in person to people. Yeah. After oh the pandemic, gosh, yeah. I just feel like there yeah. was a lot of people that I hadn't seen in two years. And when I like, like caught up with them or whatever, it was like a different vibe. Yeah. People just, and it's just like normal people. It's not like social media influencers. It's just normal yeah. people all of a sudden feel like they can like really speak negatively into your life. Yeah. And it's like, Oh no! I'm like, such a Twitter <laughs> anti. I hate Twitter, but I yeah. still go on it. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so annoying because it's such. It can be such like a useful tool, and it, it can is. be so fun. You want to know what Twitter is useful for? What? When you think there's an earthquake, yeah. <laughs> you go yeah. straight to Twitter First to see thing. if anyone else has tweeted earthquake, mm -hmm. and then you're like, okay, so there was yeah. an earthquake. Oh my gosh! Also fires. fires. Oh, when fires, I feel like fires. there's a fire around me, I immediately search on Twitter fire, and I see if people. In like that area are talking about a fire. Yeah. And sometimes they are. And I'm like, oh my gosh, 
I found exactly where the fire is because someone's right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> are you LA born and raised? No. No. Okay. We're born. We were born in Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. We were 16, and both my parents were like, "You're not going to California by yourselves." That makes sense. And That's my mom yeah. is actually she was born in Mexico. Okay. So she really wanted to get out of Missouri too. And, my, <laughs> and so yeah. she just like Probably she she lived a, there a little bit long culture. enough. <laughs> yeah. Mexican culture in Missouri. Yeah. There definitely was. There's a community. Community. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. Like when you. Grow mm-hmm. up in like a, a school where there's not a lot of diversity. Yeah. Where there's only just little bits. Yeah. You know, you're just not really used to it. So coming out here was actually kind of culture super shock. fun and very culture shock for yeah. us because, you know, we we come here and we actually didn't go to a normal high school. We went to an independent studies school where a bunch of Disney actors went and like oh. it was like a homeschool mixed with normal school. Nice. I don't know how else to explain it, but when we got um immersed in that world we had friends of different religions, different um, ethnicities. Yeah. Just like, it was just like very I, eye-opening. Eye-opening no, and I, like the bubble yeah. was popped, you know, like yeah. it was just like this world of like culture was yeah. like introduced to us. Yeah. And yeah, I fell in love. I was like so happy being here. Because yeah. where we grew up, you know, the small town mentality is like everywhere. You know, you grow up, you go, you get born. Go to school, yeah. get bored. go to high school, graduate, go to college, graduate, somewhere in there, get married, fi- make your yeah. own family and repeat. Yeah. Which is like, Which there's is nothing, nothing wrong. wrong with no. that. But for, but for people who are like just wanting something more than that, like yeah. you got, you have to move out of that. You have to yeah. get out and like step out of your comfort zone and take that leap of faith and like. Which is what we did. And it's hard. Yeah, mm-hmm. moving it's hard. to California. I, mean, like, I you get know, it. You know, too. Yeah. yeah, you did it. California is a, a melting pot of just some it of the is. most amazing cultural things from mm-hmm. all around the world, especially yeah. in the United States, just to have all of that in one place. And I mean, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Growing up in Idaho, there's a lot of white people in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of white people. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, not a lot of diversity in my small Christian school in Idaho. <laughs> And so was definitely happy to go experience more. Yeah. I feel like LA, like people come from all over the world and they like bring their recipes with yeah. them. Because when we have like, there was like a place we like to get croissants at and stuff. And we went to Paris for yeah. Fashion Week um, several years <laughs> oh, ago, 2018. Yeah, no big deal. We no got big deal. It was like the oh highlight of our lives. Yeah, no big deal. Anyway, so Super fun. But we had a croissant there in France. <laughs> it tasted the exact same as it was here. And I was like so excited to experience a croissant in France. And it was like the same quality as a croissant from Albertsons. <laughs> no. Albertsons has great croissants. No shot. I'm a croissant snob. <laughs> Oh, at overall, the point is that everyone comes from all over the world and they yeah. bring their food. And so you can get authentic food from different like cultures, different yeah. countries here. And I love that. Yeah. Like it's very authentic. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. great. There's like even like uh, a street where it's like Ethiopian food. Yeah. Little Called Ethiopia. Yeah. yeah. Little Ethiopia. I love I, Little Ethiopia. We accidentally drove through there once for the first time. We were like, we I was were like, where so am I? Good. It, where it are we? so cool. There's every single restaurant like in, on that street. Is it on, is it Fairfax? I think so. Yeah. I think it's Fairfax. Just on Fairfax. In that little stretch, Little Ethiopia, every restaurant there is yeah. just fire. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's. I love it. So good. Just literally all the streets with all the different yeah. stuff. Ugh. Just, amazing. I love LA. So have you 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 love LA? Well, my I okay, in Missouri, we got sick all the time. Like in the winter? Yeah. Like bronchitis every year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were always sick because it was so cold and just like I couldn't ever let my hair air dry or else I would get pneumonia. We've had pneumonia, pneumonia three, three times. times. Like it's no joke. You said that at the same time. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's yeah. epic. We're twins. Yeah, twins. <laughs> Which one of you is older? I am. Oh, nice. Yeah. Me, Veronica, by uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah. That's a pretty big gap yeah. for twins. Yeah, it is. It is yeah. That's not like gap. a lot of times you hear it's just like the two or three minute two gap. Three minutes, yeah. yeah. What happened was she was born normal. Mm-hmm. And oh. then uh, the cord or something was like pushing on my neck. I was losing oxygen, so they... I had to cut my mom open and pull me out. Wow. Yeah. Emergency. So my, our poor yeah. mom did everything. She is a our warrior. Our poor dad, she too, is. was like in there. Oh, he was filming, filming right, the birth. That's what you do. And so then they were like, 
they started all talking and kind of like rushing. And then my dad was like, next moment he knew he got kicked out. So they, they kicked him out. They kicked him oh. out. They of put the thing because... over my mom. She passed out. He, and they pushed and then him he out said, of the room. last thing he saw was they were like going in to like cut her oh, open. God. <gasps> and then he just like was standing there all alone. Like, like he, was, he just... was like, is my wife okay? Like is the baby okay? Like, no like, one told him anything. So that was that really is traumatic crazy. for him. And so... then so and then it's only my birth that was filmed, not oh. her. <laughs> So you and, are the more special twin. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Vanessa. Uh, that was a joke. That was no, a joke. I know. <laughs> no, well, and our poor dad, he's like, he does not even touch that video because of how traumatic it was. And he I feels can't so imagine. bad. Yeah. But I'm okay now. What the heck? What the freaking heck? <laughs> sorry. You make family friendly content. <laughs> no, I no, do you not. you <laughs> You keep doing you. No, yeah, it's, fine. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You should swear. <laughs> Say a curse word. No. <laughs> <laughs> they won't do it. No, no. it's so no, funny. My you like, don't have just to. in general, we just never like our parents didn't curse. We just didn't grow up around that. So yeah, just naturally, we just don't really say bad words. But but when we do. You know we really like are mad, or, like we mean it. it. You mean yeah, it. you're uh, angry. <laughs> but one time, freshman year of high school, this kid was determined to make me curse. I was starving one day, and he said, "Vanessa, this dollar is yours if you say the S word, uh, the F word." Oh. And I was like, "F word," and I was like, "Give it to me." And I went to the vending machine to get my cookies. I was starving. You were like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was exactly. like, and they were, everyone freaked out. And it was like totally. I did not make a big deal because I just needed the money <laughs> for a snack. That's hilarious. I w- wait. That's the move. I wish I didn't yeah. swear so people start giving me stuff to do it. I yeah. just do it for it's free. Great. Oh it's my god! It's unbelievable. <laughs> Eat, sleep, oof, repeat. Yeah, that's my Roblox sticker. You play... Okay, well, oh no, we're not supposed to talk about video games. We can talk about video games. We, I am the host of this show. <laughs> the, I talk about what I want. Oof. Or how oof. do you do... Oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> the Roblox... Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oof. I always do... Uh, this. Yeah. I know. The dance. I what what do you play on Roblox? What, do, what games do you like? I'm kind of cracked at Arsenal. Oh! Oh, yeah, because I play a lot of shooter games, okay. and so I go on and b- bully kids on Arsenal. <laughs> poor, poor kids. Yeah, Wait, you can talk to kids on Roblox now, right? Like, Active no, I, yet, I, or think, not yet? I think I think they no. changed it. I think oh, you used to be used able to, to and then they were having too many problems with like children getting harassed. Um, <laughs> That's not funny. I have funny. never, you. I have never actually like harassed anyone on Roblox. <laughs> I have never voiced to a child and like called a child like a like a bad game or anything like that. But, I've never used okay, voice. Okay, we know what you mean. Though. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but like I think I think you have to have like age verification oh, and be to... eighteen or. Or older okay. to voice com on Roblox. I think. Oh, yeah. Have you ever played VR chat with VR? No, I refuse to play VR chat. Why? It's crazy I just, people. I wanna know. You want to talk about a cesspool of the internet? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm okay. ragging on Twitter, I got to rag on VR chat. You know the g- degenerates that are in that game. <laughs> there's some, there's some we crazy have played stuff. it before, and we're like family friendly, right? So we've played VR chat before, but um, our it's been more like the fans will find us in the game and then we interact with our fans. Yeah. So it's not actually, we haven't had bad experiences or weird experiences, but I do know that VR chat is kind of crazy and psychotic. Well, there's sometimes. like no age restriction. It's no, not like Roblox where no. you got to be 18 or older uh-huh. to voice chat. It's just mm-hmm. free for all. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I don't want to take part in that. I'm scared. <laughs> that frightens it's, me. It's smart. It's a good way to meet up with fans though, because yeah. then everyone can talk and it's, there's funny moments that happen, but you have to find, like, it's just the right thing. Like, you have to find the right moments. You want to know some advice that was given to me about, like, VR world? Yeah. Like, they're like, you need to, the next step in your brand, like, journey is you need to figure out um, your metaverse. <laughs> and I was like, what? They're like, yes. You need to figure out how fans can meet up in a room virtually with you. Like that's VR Roblox, chat. yeah. Roblox. Like it's like and just Among stick us. to it. <laughs> Literally and, any and big multiplayer like, game. Oh Fall my guys. gosh! But like the Fortnite. fact that like people are moving towards like that mindset. Yeah. I don't know. It's so know. weird. I was like, what? I just I can't fathom it. The yeah, only I way I could like 
actually try to like make sense of it is it's kind of the same thing of like me being a crime boss in the jailbreak in Roblox. Yeah. It's like I paid to be a crime boss. I paid actual money that was turned into Robux. Yeah. And so and now I have all these cool perks when yeah. I enter the game. Every I'm like the most wanted person that yeah. the police want to capture. Yeah. Virtually. Yeah. And so in when you put that in like metaverse terms and you're all these people are buying property in the metaverse or whatever and you compare it to like a Roblox game, like that's what it is. It's more yeah. about like being able to log into whatever it is. Right? I might be completely wrong. No, no you're right. You're literally the the metaverse is just old Minecraft servers from way back in the day yeah. on Mineplex right. when you'd buy a plot of land in a yes. Minecraft server and yeah. then build your house on it. That's what it that's what it is. We're reinventing Minecraft. She kind of went like ham on Minecraft at one point. Oh, it was really so knowledgeable fine. on how to play the game. And yeah. I just I kept asking her to give me a bunch of cats. Yeah. And I kept naming them. We yeah. had like so many cats so many. in one room. Mm-hmm. Well, that's Lovely. my favorite part about all like the sandbox games because yeah. I I'm not I play a lot of video games, but I'm not like an elitist gamer by yeah. any means. Mm-hmm. I love those games because you can literally do whatever you want. The whole point yeah. is just open it up and do yeah. whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Do whatever's fun. So if you have fun in Minecraft, walking around and collecting cats, and you have a cat <laughs> army, then go for it. I You're not playing that. the game wrong. If exactly. you want to start a chicken farm in Sims Four, then do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's your right as a human being to go do that. If that's what makes you happy, then do it. I hate it when people like get so mad about video games. They're like, oh, you're playing the wrong way. Like yeah. you're doing this wrong. Yeah. It's like, who says? Who I paid for the game and I bought yeah. it and I'm doing what makes me happy. Yeah. How is that doing exactly. it wrong? It's, it's like when people get mad of people who play Animal Crossing when they like time hop to like, yeah. make sure they get stuff, whatever, yeah. because it's considered cheating, but it really isn't. Right, How you can't cares? Choose. You can't yeah. cheat in Animal Crossing. Yeah. It's like a day-to-day league game. You and know? even like, if you can, who cares if you cheat in Animal yeah. You're not affecting anyone else's yeah, life. Right. <laughs> like, you're not making their life worse <laughs> exactly. by cheating. Yeah. yeah. That's the beauty of video games and, like, yeah. being able to connect with people and stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So you, we've talked about quite a bit of the content mm-hmm. that you make. Do you have like a favorite thing to do as far as content goes? Like, do you have a favorite type of video, uh, a favorite thing to do? We, um, we love making um, skits, yeah. like sketch yeah? comedy sketch in comedy. that, um, or like improvising just a weird video. Yeah, um, yeah we have a, a, a fake reality show called Meryl Twins Exposed. It's a spoof off of like the Kardashians. Yeah. Like it's like a fake reality show. Yeah. And those are always so fun to make, especially when we just improvise. Because yeah. we have, like, characters. We have yeah. characters. We, have, like, we play all the characters. We do interviews. We do, like, all of that. Yeah. And that it's just so fun. So fun. And we, like, play. The the um, the um premise of the, the series is that the Merrill twins are actually not nerdy gamer girls who like Star Wars and are, like, down to earth. They're actually really bougie and, like, bratty. Yeah. And so that's, that's like, the premise of You're, you're the Kendall and, so, and Kylie yeah. of the YouTube we're like, world. Mm-hmm. And we're always like, yeah, so... Um, always touching the hair. Yeah, like, you gotta touching do the, the hair. hair. <laughs> not, um, that, not that that's a problem, because hair gets in the way, but, you know, yeah. it's do you, a little treat. I'm sure you're familiar with Smosh, right? Yes. Yeah. We, yeah. So, yeah. Courtney... Um, is like a really good friend of mine, but she does her character like Brianna Boho. Oh my gosh, like what that yes. is, yeah. Which is so mm-hmm. funny because it yeah. sounds exactly like that where she just plays this like ditzy like Beverly Hills girl and she walks around <laughs> chewing gum and wears like fish nut leggings. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen it. We were actually just at Smosh. Oh, really? We were doing... When? Um, uh, today. Today? Today. We were Did there today. Did you say hi to them for me? No, no. not for you. They but they moved. were all like... T- they all said to say hi to you. Uh, one person did. Who? Who? I forget. <laughs> I really, uh, they're all so funny over there. They're so funny. Like, talk about YouTubers who are just down to earth, chill, yeah. funny people. Yeah. I love that. No, genuinely. Mm-hmm. If anybody them. out there in, in the audience ever thought that, like, it was like they weren't actually that funny, they are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're Shane hilarious. and Courtney yes. and Ian and Damien. They're like some of the funniest people I know. Jackie, yes. Amanda, yeah. freaking everyone. Mm-hmm. Kimmy, they're all so nice and so funny. Yeah. Everyone that works there, though, it's not yeah. even just like the cast members. It's, it's like Spencer and Tommy and like, and I don't know. Everyone's so funny. I love going yeah. over there. They're so funny. And we did the like try not to laugh thing with yeah. them. Like, and we had to make them laugh. Yeah. I was really intimidated. I was too the first time I did that. It was so scary. It's so scary. We were shaking. Yeah. We recreated our birth. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
No. <laughs> Did they laugh? They laughed. Good. Yeah. They laughed. Good. Uh, so even if I, it, it was like a good. pity laugh, I'm glad yeah. they still spat out their water. <laughs> yeah. When we first moved here to California, the first thing we did, or first thing that someone recommended us to do, was to take acting classes. Yeah. And we did that, and then someone also recommended to do improv classes. Yeah. So we did uh, improv classes at the Groundlings. Yeah. And it was so it, fun. For those yeah. who don't know, a lot of like SNL care or people start at the Groundlings. Yeah. And Groundlings then, like, is like. Mm-hmm. Groundlings is like, yeah, it's iconic. Comedy. You you yeah. have to do it there at one point, like do a class there. Or something. <laughs> but I haven't done it. Yeah. That's why I'm not funny. What? Oh. No, you are funny. No, <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I, I love how Veronica, you're like, no, you're funny, and Vanessa is just stone cold, just like. I want to agree, but that's probably rude. No, I wanted to like play up the joke. Yeah. Oh, it was improv. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you okay, always again, say yes again. Spending and. Time at groundlings. Yeah. The rule is yes and. If he yeah. says he's not funny, you go yes and you are. I don't know. I, I can't think of Bad. something. I'm not. Come on. I thought you went to school for this. It was just one oh, class. One class. One class. That's more classes than I've taken. <laughs> okay. no. I'm doing my best out here. Yeah. Improv's well, hard. It is. No, so, genuinely. Yay. So kudos to them for just constantly. Well, and when you like meet someone and hang around someone who's so good at it, who lives and breathes just like funny improv, they're so yeah. witty. Mm-hmm. Then you really start to like realize, wow, I, I'm not that funny. Yeah. And when you try to be funny, you're not funny. So then it's just, just fail. Yeah. But it's tough. I've, um, I've been over there like a couple times to do some different things, but anytime they ask me to go and try not to laugh, it's usually, I'll just be doing like one or two bits. Mm-hmm. And so I have time to like plan and prepare and think yeah, about what I want to yeah. do. And then there was one, they, they have their, their like funeral series that they do, yeah, I uh, that, that I was on one for Rhett and Link yeah. when they did Rhett and Link's funeral. And that was like all we like, I sat down with their writers and we pre-wrote all that. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I think the one time I ever was in like an improv thing was their like deleted like search history videos <laughs> like or or the, someone like hacked our Google search yeah. history and it was like so hard. I was so nervous for that one because I was like, I just have to sit here and then I read these things on a screen mm. that they have written and now I have to be funny off of it. And it was so hard to like just be funny on the spot and they're all so good at it. It's just mm-hmm. they're so snappy. Everyone is so witty and so fast. Right. And like every time I go over there, I'm like, wow, I just wish I was as funny as you. Well, yeah. And and but they you know, it's a muscle yeah. in your brain that you have to practice. So they get they do that all the time. I actually don't believe it's in the brain. I believe you're referring to the funny bone. <laughs> and I think it's down here. <laughs> oh okay. Everybody, that's the show. Okay, wait awesome no, I was, I was silently it's been laughing real. over hey, here. Thanks for having me. It's been really nice. Yeah. And, and yeah. concluding. Okay. I think that's the furthest I've taken the getting up and walking out. The you yeah, really I really walked, yeah, walked out the door. Yeah, normally when I almost walked out the door, I pretend to get up and then I sit back down. But, but that's it's more funny. I thought I really go went for it all the way and like commit, yeah. right? Yeah, I that's think the, it is. That's the technique. I don't know. You, you tell me. Leave a comment. <laughs> I, that's I, my brand of comedy is just being extremely awkward and stupid. That's like that's my okay. go-to. That's, that's a that's good one. That's my that's go-to, just, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's for I all the like unfunny it. people. <laughs> that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's all the <laughs> That's so it. mean. And nobody's no, true. Kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you can't come up with something witty, just act stupid. Mm-hmm. It, yes. Exactly. Act stupid, or if you don't know how to end a skit, pretend it was a dream. Is that what you do? That's what we were told. That's once. what we were told. If you don't really? know how to end like mm-hmm. a skit, oh. wake up from a dream and say it was all a dream. Like, so I don't know about that one. I'm it, having yeah, thoughts. They, I'm having. They a- said it's. They don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> they said don't do that. Yeah. But yeah. if you literally cannot think, they of said an ending. here's what you do if you don't know how to end a skit, but never do it. <laughs> Don't because, do it. Because it's not as clever. Yeah. Like you it's can end it clever. a better way. I usually but... just make a stupid noise and then like run. <laughs> just book oh, it. Because yeah, yeah, if, if I'm not that's, there, mm-hmm. they can't ridicule yes. me, right? right. Yes. I've left. Right. I'm gone. See, exactly. Yeah. Nobody can ridicule me. Exactly. You just have to live with whatever I did. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks Both for of you, Veronica this and Vanessa you. Merrill. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I just had to prove to everyone that I still knew your names. Yes. Okay. Good, good job. And myself. After yes. talking, well, oh, sorry. After talking to us, can you like tell a difference between us, or do we look the same to you? 
No, there's a difference. You think so? Yeah. You want to yeah. know what it is? What? It's in the dimples. Yeah. That's you're it. right. It's in the dimples. Yeah, because you're on you're on my uh, there's the dimple side. You've got pretty two. Yeah. She's got two deep she's ones. She's got two dimple ones. I got ones, one, but on this side, yeah. you wouldn't be able to really tell. But this side. Yeah. It's, it's in the dimples. There. Yeah. And Good you're job. obviously different people. We, yes. Like you yes, have, yes. you know, different personalities yeah. and like curly hair, a little bit curly, a little bit straight. Yeah, yes, yes, anyway, yes. that's not. Pff, oh, I, anyway, sorry. I got <laughs> off the rails again. <laughs> Trevor's talking too much, right? Yeah, that's a good one. That's my favorite oh thing to do anytime I make a dumb joke. You just gotta dap yourself up. I like that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you feel free to use that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, okay, please guys. tell tell people where they can find you. All the stuff that you've got going on. Yeah. Um, you can find us on YouTube, Meryl, Meryl Twins, Twins and Meryl Twins. <laughs> that was a super good plug. Yeah, one of the yes. best. Okay, you spell Meryl like Will Ferrell's last name, but, but with, with an, an M. M. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm losing I thought it. I was bad at outros. Oh my gosh. Get okay. a load of no. these goobers. <laughs> okay. Meryl Twins, that's what you search up. Meryl, Meryl twins, twins on everything. I, and like Vanessa Merrill. Veronica Merrill. Uh, Wait, you know. which one is which? <laughs> 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 yes, please yeah, yeah. go check out the Meryl Twins. You have Meryl Twins Live or Meryl Live. We do Meryl have Twins Meryl Twins Live. Meryl Twins, Twins Live. Yes. And check out their personal socials too. Yeah. Thank I'm sure you. It's Veronica and Vanessa yes. Merrill on yes. most Thank things. You. I and imagine. check out Trevor's socials as well. I tell them every episode. Oh. Nobody ever dies. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, well, you no. better do it this episode. They've, they've heard my handle out. enough. <laughs> Uh, but no, thank you so yeah. much for coming on. I really appreciate Thanks it. This is such a fun you. time. This is a really great podcast. This was podcast. so fun. You can have us come back and we can talk more. Careful, my ego's going to get really big if you compliment me again. <laughs> Everybody, please go check out uh, Meryl Twins on YouTube. Meryl Twins live on YouTube for their live streaming channel. And then uh, I believe their socials are all like the Meryl Twins or Veronica Merrill, Vanessa Merrill. The Merrill Twins. Go check them out. They're amazing. They're so much fun. Jamie, what did you think? Um, Just very, like, interesting. I kind of like how that sits on your head for whatever reason. You should, like, make a hat that does that. But Can you get back to the show? Can you take this seriously? Yeah, let me take this seriously. <laughs> so, let me break it down. No, they were, they were actually, they were really sweet. They were really cool. They, just being, for someone who's been on YouTube for so long so long and they like they did their channel they've done awesomeness tv they've done yeah. like all these different yeah. channels they're like very well adjusted i feel yeah <laughs> you know because no. honestly no offense but a lot of people that are just do that for years and years and years can get a little insane yeah like and, Rhett and link and unhinged they yeah they're crazy but they're like fun crazy no i'm kidding they're not crazy Love they're like guys. pretty normal dudes uh yeah they're like dads <laughs> <laughs> they just like go home to their wives and kids please take those off your head <laughs> why because jenna's about to come in and i don't want her to see you like that i thought it was sick it was but for those of you listening and not watching, I did a silly thing with some headphones on top of my head. It was kind of a silly, goofy moment. We will post a picture, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> no, we're not. Post a picture where? <laughs> on, like... The internet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Jenna's about to come in. Everybody, it's time for a very special segment called Trevor Tries to Clarify. And we have with us today very special guest, Jenna... Uh, who pretty much runs everything uh, around here. I believe that you are the senior executive coordinator to Rhett and Link. Is that correct? Yes. Which yeah. pretty much means she runs everything <laughs> <laughs> because she makes sure that Rhett and Link are where they need to be and doing what they need to do, which pretty much means she does everything that the company needs. <laughs> um, if Jenna weren't here, everything would fall apart. But I'm hearing that there's something that you'd like to clarify or you want me to clarify. Yes. Okay, so... There are certain like hand motions okay. that your generation do that I just I don't understand what they mean. Like I have a guess, but I don't necessarily know what they mean. And like I don't want to do them myself because I've tried to. Do, well, I'll I'll demonstrate them for you. Okay. But I don't. Th this isn't gonna be something that I go out into the world and do because okay. I think I look ridiculous when I All do right. it. But I would like to know when I see someone do those motions and be like, oh, that's what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so the first one is like it's this. It's like. It's like this pensive, like, mm, yeah. 
<laughs> it's like they're shy, but oh, yeah. or they like are embarrassed. But I don't know if that's what it is. That's just my guess. Yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're referring to. Okay. <laughs> is that the only the only one? No, I have more. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> give me the whole rundown, and I'll. I'll the see other what I can one do. is like this. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a, a lip bite. Yeah, they do the both. They, I have no idea. It's like, it's is. are you rubbing a beard that's not there? What does this mean? <laughs> I also don't know what these mean. So I'm, and I've seen them before. And, I'm and then like, I still don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, see, I don't know even the voice that you're doing. What is that? Shoo. Okay. Because you, you talked about sheesh. This is almost like the female version of sheesh, but in like a little bit more of like a oh kind of way where it's like. Oh. What does sheesh mean? Okay, so, though? well, uh, D'Angelo Russell, who's an NBA basketball player who used to play for the Lakers, he used to always say he has ice in his veins and he would do this. He'd be like, I got ice in my veins. And then he'd do this. So then uh, gamers got a hold of it. And when they play Valorant, anytime they like make a good play or something in the game, then they'd go, um, <laughs> and then that became like associated with it as like the hand signal for oh, sheesh. Okay, this is just uh, I have another question. I have yeah, follow yeah, question. No, yeah, go ahead. What, what does it mean to have ice in your veins? <laughs> oh, it, <laughs> I, ice in your veins means like your clutch. Okay. Oh. Like you're like you're good under pressure. Oh, okay. Like when cool. you do something in like a clutch moment, and then you've got ice in your veins because nothing can like you so, know, shake you. So would you consider I have ice in my veins? Yeah, you've got ice in your veins for sure, Jenna. Sheesh. For sure. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the final one, this one. Yeah, uh, I've the, seen you do that before. Ironically, maybe. Yeah. But. So this is the uh, this is the uh, the the frick boy face. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the, but it's kind of a joke. <laughs> If I ever saw someone doing that to me, like in real life, like un like unironically, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what I would do. I guess it's I'd similar to my generation's. <laughs> I, I guess it's similar to my generation's. Like when um, Frick Boys would do it, it was like this um, this lip. Like they would like rub. They would like lick their lips. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like uh, lick lips. So I guess that's yeah. like. That's what it was. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. As long Same as thing. I can like correlate it to something for my generation. Have I answered your questions adequately? Yes, thank you. You think so? <laughs> Good. Glad I could explain that. Uh, yeah, they're all pretty stupid. Pretty dumb. <laughs> no, I just want to know. I love it. I don't okay. care. We had stupid. We like my yeah. generation was the duck face. Yeah. Oh. I yeah. cannot tell you so how many stupid. selfies that I had on my MySpace with the duck face. We all oh, thought it was cute. No. <laughs> That's funny. Well, thank you for coming on and asking me those questions, Jenna. It feels good to feel useful and needed. Please let me know if there's anything that you want me to clarify. Uh, you can DM me on Twitter, Instagram. You can respond to my tweet. You can leave a comment or whatever. If there's anything that you want clarified, you let me know and I'll do my best to explain it. Everybody also, big news, you've probably already heard it, but I'm going to repeat it here again. Good Mythical Evening V2 is happening um, it is happening September 1st. It's going to be wet. It's going to be wild. It's going to be dirty and raunchy and fun and crazy. Um, yeah, we're going to be having a good time. It's going to be streaming over on Moment House. You can get tickets now. You can buy tickets this second at goodmythicalevening.com. Check it out. Save the date, September 1st. Kick off your Labor Day weekend right. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Well, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Trevor Talks Too Much. Thank you for listening. Check us out every Tuesday. New episodes dropping, and then the video version's coming out the following Monday. Leave a review, leave a comment, whatever you want to say, say it. I can handle it. Um, check me out on Mythical Kitchen. I'm over there cooking some fun stuff. Check me out on socials. I don't know. Check out whatever you want to check out. Bye. Have a great day. That's like an aggressive bye. Breaker. <laughs> that's like a really you aggressive sons bye. sons of biscuits. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Head over to psych.la and drop in code TT2M made you look at checkout. That is TT, the number two M made you look at checkout. You can enjoy 10% off your whole order. So go check it out at psych.la.